Good day, people of the internet, and welcome back to Bristol City Career Mode. Today we start off with a game against MK Dons. We're rocking a 4 3 3 with some new players in. Uh, Ferreira is playing right wing. West Burns is a little bit tired. We've got Freeman coming in, but we're playing at court lane. Unfortunately, it didn't save Ashton Gate, which depresses me, but we are. In, in our hearts, we are Ashton Gate. So our lineup. No. Yeah. Yeah. Our lineup is pretty standard. We've got Deli Alley and Freeman being the two holding midfielders, and I think we've got. Corey Smith playing camp, so it's it's a strong lineup. I've kept Wagstaff in after showing that he's way better than Little. Flint is still in now, although I'm not decided on him. But here we see Nicky Maynard. Now Nicky Maynard used to play for Bristol City. And at the start of this game I'm like, he's not scoring. I refuse to let him score, but they have signed Diego Poyer, I think it is, from West Ham on learning the centre defensive mid youngster. He's full of potential. But I am. I was like, Maynard's not scoring this game. I was going to do whatever it took for him not to score. But again, Lucas Patwick doesn't really sound very English, but he's an English ref apparently. So we start off very early on with I think they get an attack straight from kickoff. Poye gets the ball very well, plays it into Reeves. Reeves plays it down to Baker, and like, where's Joe Bryan? He's left back. He should be handling that. He doesn't. They run it in. Keep going. Keep going. It takes the shot straight up to Ben Hamer. Ben Hamer's in over Frankie Fielding because I just wanted to keep him in, but good throw out, gives it to Rolando Aaron, who gets past his man very well, but then can't really do much about it, plays to Codger who gets tackled straight away, and we get the free kick, because apparently Rolando Aaron was fouled, didn't really see it, but <laughs> the game says so, and McFadzian gets booked, he's English, McFadzian, not really sure how with a name like that you can be English, but Kyle, you know, but... Ferreira has our best free kick accuracy, so we put him on it from 36 yards out. He puts it into the bar. It's not too far wide, but we kind of need to score those chances because in the 10th minute, they're just passing it around us. Again, this left hand side, they were just annihilating. Look, where's Joe Bryan? He's gone. And he's run up there. Left mid is not doing anything, and they've just passed it straight through. Whip a ball in, and luckily Ailing deals with it. And we jump to the 24th minute where Freeman plays through a peach of a ball. Through to Kodja, who he's not going to just that. And it's a good finish. 25 minutes in, I believe. And 1 0 up against MK Dons, as it should be. We should be dominant at home. Does the little point to the back to show who his name is. And it's, again, the ball played through to Freeman, showing why I should pick him more. But this doesn't happen enough for us. No striker seems to make the runs like that. I think we were playing 4 3 3 attacking, so I did set the um, team instructions to attacking. But for some reason, we never seem to get the ball enough. Like, Poye, again, just, we've got all the time in the world. We're not closing them down. Passing inside. Nicky Maynard with, uh, yeah, a wonder strike. Not quite sure how I'm supposed to stop him from doing that. But, again, the passing ball shouldn't have got to him. It's so hard to defend passing on this game on world-class difficulty. I'm thinking of dropping it to professional because it's just, it's just a struggle because they pass it backwards so much. And then when they do come forward, apparently you can't intercept it because Maynard's just going to strike one from 30 odd yards. It looked like it was going wide and then it just bounces off the post and in. Like Flint maybe could have closed him down, but it's a good goal. I can't deny that. And then Poye, but they can ping one passes. Like, you're not supposed to pass off balance, but for some reason, when you're controlling them, they pass off balance half time. We kind of shouldn't really be in the game. But the computer can just pass with no problem like it will just ping off them and they'll be fine but Corey Smith losing out gives it to Baker plays a crazy ball Maynard turns his man turns another one flicks it around now Flint not really sure what he's doing there but Maynard gets two now that one was prevented if Flint hadn't been so stupid he could have just blocked it but for some reason the game was like nah you don't want to run with Flint why would you want to defend a goal because look he flicks it, and I'm like, Flint's got this. Flint, Flint hasn't got this, and Hamer didn't have it as near post. It was, it was just catastrophic. But Maynard probably deserved it for the two turns he dropped. But Deli Ali again squandering possession in the midfield, which we shouldn't be doing. Poye again strikes one, and Ben Hamer has to come up with a big save again. So many times we're relying on our keeper Marlon Pack again loses it. It's terrible. We shouldn't be losing the ball like that, and it's the 77th minute. Cut back. Cut back. It's like <laughs> we lose the ball in midfield, our defence aren't ready for it because the defence is scratched. For some reason, Ailing comes out, loses it, they cut it back and just put it home. 
Paper probably could have done a bit better, but that was the game. We lost 3 1. 8 shots, 5 on target. Man of the match for us went to Kodja, but we jump into training. And again, we just sim the training. Batten, I think, is the only one that goes up in stats. No, Perea does a little bit. And then we jump into our second game in the final game of the episode against QPR. Now we've rocked a 3 5 2 formation here, because I'm like, right, so we don't have much in midfield, so I thought we'll put 5 in midfield. So we're playing at Loftus Road, thinking maybe we can get some points there. They've got Kamini, who wears trousers, not. Not a fan, but they're they're playing pretty solid lineup. I mean, Charlie Austin's not starting, which surprised me. But we're rocking the three-five-two with Liam Moore and Declan Williams. Declan Williams, Derek Williams, I think. Nathan Baker, Moore, and Derek Williams, I think, are coming in. And straight from the bat, Liam Moore's showing why he should defend. But then Bobby Reed's just like, Nah, you want a shot? We give him a shot. Five minutes in, it's still them, still all them. Mackey with a perfect. Run cuts inside and I'm, I'm questioning what the defense are doing. I was trying to just clear it. The ball shouldn't have got through, but it did. Like, the loft through ball got through. Where Joe Bryan is, I'm not quite sure. But then they just cross it in and he wins the header. Ailing North Flint. Stop it. No. Corey Smith is back there. Ailing. I don't know where he is, but 11th minute. Uh, Nida Manua makes a mistake. Gives it to Bishop who Lovely ball into Freeman, drops Clint Hill and puts it past Kamini. Kamini, I think, is the goalkeeper. Puts it past him with ease and then goes to grab the ball because we want more goals. We're not losing another game. And it was just unforced error from Anua. Plays it through and just drops Hill. It was such a good drop. And then that's it. But we're like, what? 19th minute. We're actually looking like a strong seed. Marley Bishop comes through and puts it straight at Kamini. Straight on. But he did well to get that, I suppose. They make a mistake. Freeman slides in, intercepts it. Bishop again tries to take the shot, doesn't. Then hits it again on the rebound, and... Wow. He does his best to miss that shot. I'm pretty sure he just hits the post. Freeman with some great anticipation. Finesse from Bishop, blocked by Anua, goes through him. But then, just, you're not stopping that, I mean, because it was really off target. It wasn't a good goal, but it was posting in, so... Still has to finish it, 44th minute, and we're like, okay, can we hold on to a lead for a bit? Fouling comes into the box, and then, uh, no one picks up, we were in first one. And the wonder strike, not really a wonder strike, but keeper didn't really stand a chance against it. It was a rocket into the top corner, and Leroy Fur coming in from left mid. He was playing left mid in this game. Not really sure why he was playing left mid, but it worked, because he scored an absolute beauty of a goal. No one picked up his run, he just walked into the box and rifled it in. Half time. Pretty sure we're 2-2 two, two down. 2-2 two, two down, 2 all, but we should be more down because the defence, where is it? It's just too slow to react and Ben Hamer gets a hand to that actually, which I'm quite proud of. And then that's half time. We had three shots, two on target, they had six and two, but a lot of their shots were from distance. They weren't on target like good shots, but then Cherry comes in, plays the ball through to Diakite, but luckily Williams clears it, but oh, oh Perk, Perk picks it up. And then no one goes to him. Hit the post. And of course it's a rebound, because you know, <laughs> EA aren't going to be nice. They're just going to make it so that the home team win and he celebrates to the camera and la di da. Because it's just so frustrating, because I think it was Marlon Pack at this point that made the mistake. It's just unforced errors from our team. Just gets caught in possession and just perch plays it through. That touch took out that centre back. It was such a good touch. And I don't know how you make the player do that. It took 84 minutes for us to get another chance. And Bishop does that with the header. It's like, what are we supposed to do? So the 87th minute, Jamie Matthews just playing within the corner. I'm like, I'll take a red card here, because it was just annoying. Go straight through the back of him, and no foul. But I just thought I'd keep that in there, because that's a red card in my opinion. But that's how the game ended. Four shots, three on target. They had four shots on target, and it won. But that's all for today, people. Unfortunately, we lost both games. Thinking of dropping it to professional. But see you all next time. Goodbye!